Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 110, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We fought our way through some of the beasties, uh, very similar to the one that just crawled away up in front of us ahead of the cave. We made our way through a minefield very stealthily, recovering some mines, which uh, I'm going to, I will be breaking down for parts. And we're about to see what else we can do out here. Um, is this? No. Oh. It's one of those areas that you look like you should be able to get through there, and you can't. All right. So we've got this turret power generator. Now, here, here's where I'm going to go ahead and line out my options. I can get Baudur to overload this power generator here. Which means the turrets up there won't have power to fire at me. Or, I can sneak around the corner. If you see that little bit of base that we saw through the crag there, uh, there's a computer that will actually turn the turrets on the Sith. And, and I guess that that is the question of which do I want to do. So let me see if I can engage these guys far enough out to not trigger that stuff there. Like, is there a far enough away from the Sith that, uh... Is there far enough away from the Sith that I don't... There we go. Well, that was quick. Is there anything over here by the water? Alright. So they don't really give you too much of an option here. Yeah, so I guess my option is to either use that to disable the turrets, or sneak over there to use the computer and turn them on the Sith. Personally, uh, the way I like to play, I wouldn't mind sneaking over there and turning them against the Sith, but I'm not sure you get the same amount of XP. Which means I'm going to go ahead and have my technical specialist manage this thing real quick. <laughs> Turret powder generator for the Sith camp is running efficiently. For now. Uh, <laughs> there are several levers and other controls to operate it. So we are going to rewire it so it explodes. There we go. Yes. The uh, problem of the turrets will be solved, and... <sighs> All right, let me do this. Let me save the game real quick. Just in case this goes horribly, horribly awry. And let me see if Let's I can go. get my technical specialist to go solo. Pop into his equipment and get his stealth on. He'll be back shortly. Yes. All right. I don't know why the guy had said that you had to worry about his remote being seen by this by the uh, sensors, but okay. Fine. Let's. Uh, all right. I guess. Uh, oop. No, nope, no, nope. I'm not attacking anything. That that's the opposite of stealth. Oh. Uh, sneaking in. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't try to sneak in then. That. Yeah, I don't think any of my people have a high enough stealth skill to manage that one. So basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to that power generator over there. And do the same thing where I blow it up because that's going to disable those droids up on the top of the ramp there. I mean, I almost wonder if I couldn't have... Oh, that can't be good. Um, do they know something I don't? Are they... Are they about to attack me? Can I get them to attack the Boma? 
Like, there's nothing I like more than watching my enemies attack each other. Oh, don't sniff me out. Don't sniff me out. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I am a leaf on the wind. Oh, wait, that didn't turn out so well. Uh, <coughs> Am I going to do the smart thing and run away? Alright, I... That's... Okay. That's a little bit of a glitch, but okay. Alright. This is... This is going better than I could have hoped. I am actually, uh... Hang on. I'm not going to say anything until I have successfully uh, made my way back to the group. Because <laughs> if you thought splitting the party into two groups of three was bad, sneaking around here all by my lonesome, that's, that's even less good. Alright, so the droids are disabled. The turrets should be disabled. I mean... I could try to sneak in there and interact with the computer, but honestly, at at this point, I don't. I'm done sneaking. I I think I'm gonna go grab some. Uh, grab my two friends over here and. Uh, all right. Let's go crack some Sith skulls. Let's also save the game first. You know, just in case. <laughs> oh, oh, almost forgot. Uh, as much as I like having that uh, utility belt on, I like having the extra skills. Although... No, let's... Uh, ooh, that's right, that's why... I, uh, can he take a minus one to attack for all that resistance? Yes, he can. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Intruders, <laughs> kill them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Chuckles. Seriously? Ye okay. Can we take a minute to admire this guy? Like, he's got at least four armored troops that I can see right now. Yeah, at least four armored troops that are just kind of hanging back there while he comes in with nothing but his cloth uniform against an armored Jedi? An armored Jedi. Can, can we just take a moment to admire that? Alright, we'll do the force wave. We'll do some energy resistance. A force barrier. Oh, and that's all I got. And then a flurry. That's one oh! Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, come on, guys. You need to stay alive long enough for me to queue you up. Well, okay. That worked well. What remains of you? Eh. Huh. Could be useful. Hmm. Oh, it'd be ashamed to let that footlocker, you know, sit there unused. It'd be better if the equipment was actually, you know, acquired and used. A Xerxium rifle? What is a Xerxium rifle? Right. Uh, ooh, these were strong frag mines. Also known as more parts. 
a Xerxium Rifle. 3 to 25 damage and is fully upgradable? You don't say. Huh. Um. <clears throat> I wonder if I'll have the opportunity to re-equip Mandalore after this. Uh, you know, take take the stuff that that was in his current rifle and uh, give him give him this guy because I think that I think that'd be kind of nice. Um. Okay. Uh, that that would be kind of nice. Be kind of weird how how you know this item here. Ooh. Uh, by the way, what do you have? A life support pack? I don't know. Didn't do you much good. There we go. I thought there was another set of remains around here. A life support pack? Is that everything? That would appear to be everything. Alright, let me get my... Uh, tech specialist to do what he does best. Hop on that security terminal. Slice the... <laughs> He's so expert. It takes him zero spikes to slice into this terminal. That's a quality minion right there. Alright. System override accepted. Access the cameras. Base camp. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the minefield? Okay. Um, system commands. Let's upload the area schematics. So then now we've got a full map to work with. Uh, I got 14 spikes. I wonder if that will... Act okay, active turrets and war droids will eliminate all organics and intruders. Okay. Let's log out. So we did get some experience for it. I'm here. Let's see if it was worth it. Oh, and was there's Oh yeah. There was some more remains. Ooh. 191 bucks. That's what you get for killing the officer. Like those yahoos over there had a life pack. Maybe. Mr. uh second lieutenant dead has 191 credits on him. Nice. All right. Everybody's all set and ready, right? Let's, uh, you know what? Before we run into battle. Ready? Which, which powers did I give her? Uh, oh, she can't use that because of her armor. Doggone it. And he, he's go. not a Jedi yet. Good to go. All right. Um, ready. Then let's go. Energy resistance. Force barrier. Leroy Jenkins. Save ourselves some time buffing up all those uh, shields and whatnot, right? Oh, <laughs> the war droids are deactivated. Oh, wow. I I thought this was going to be tough, guys. Oh, somebody tossed a grenade that did nothing? I thought the Jedi was going to take a little more to... Alright, fine. Kill it. Kill it. Dead or quicker. Okay. Um, I probably ought to queue up another energy resistance because I think that's worn off. And another force barrier. Oh.
they, they appear to all be dead. Okay. Accuracy gloves. I think I had somebody that could have benefited from those, but... Um, hang on. We, we have stuff to loot. Uh, somebody's poker money. I thought I saw somebody running around with a lightsaber. That I would have, uh, I would have liked to have looted. Alright, credits. Let me get my tech specialist yeah. on this one. Because I got to, on the looting operations. Because I got to, ooh, a rebreather. That could be nice. Turret is disabled. Turret is disabled. Alright. I was hoping he'd be able to salvage some parts out of those guys, but apparently not. Alright, then, uh, let's put our leader back in charge. Yeah. Huh. Sure there's nothing over here. Okay. I just, I expected, uh... I expected more from somebody running at me with a saber. Not gonna lie. No, no, can't run down that way. Alright, and... Ooh. I figured there was something hiding around here somewhere. Oop. Not sure what I got, but I took it all. Might be the one time that I'm happy that it, uh... Ooh. Medium armor with some resistances to cold fire and sonic. Although I think there was a reason why I broke that down for parts the last time. Because I'm not sure it was worth it for the people wearing medium armor. Um... Medium rebreather. That's right. That I was going to put on somebody. Whoever's got the breath mask. I think it's Mandalore has the breath mask. Because that does immunity for poison like the mask does. And it gives them a bump to constitution and regeneration. Uh, which is always nice. Better that everything? Oh. Who had one of those? Okay. That works. That's it for over there. Where did you... I, I literally just walked down there. Where did you come from? I was just here a second ago. Well, you got any room? Oh, construction kit. Wait, why do you... Ooh, a superior ionite age. Edge. Age. Alright. That was almost good. Is it going to tell me it's disabled? It's disabled. Yeah, all the droids be disabled. Dark Jedi Apprentice. Here we go. Now we got somebody worth, uh, worth the effort. Soften them out, guys. Oh. Well, okay then. <laughs> I, I mean... Okay. They shot them full of holes before... Uh... Okay. So that happened. Soften them up. Bam, bam. I guess think you are on solo, shooting a man full of holes before he can even mount a proper offense. I mean, even Greedo got a shot off. Yay, a computer spike. I mean, it does help to shoot first. No hidden Sith troopers spawning out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah, these heavy defense turrets. 
so much trouble. You know, now I almost wish that I hadn't disabled those using the for the generators and all that, just because I, I probably get a probably get have gotten more loot that way. And maybe even more XP. I'm not sure. Yep, yeah, let's save that. Before walking into the ominous the uh ominous tomb entrance, right? Alright. Into the tomb. Oh! Hi! Okay, so you guys went to the uh, Han Solo School of Shooting things. By getting the surprise round. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Get out of my way! Oh, I mean, for all the good it did. A force focusing visor. Ooh. Because right now she's got the Sith Mask, which makes her immune to stun, fear, and horror. And it gives the bonus weapon, uh, the bonus feat, weapons focus lightsaber. But she's already got that feat, so, uh, you know, that's not much. And it gives her regen force points one. This bumps her charisma, wisdom, and gives her regen. So, I lose the immunity to stun, fear, and horror. But I double my force regen and get a bump to charisma and wisdom. Which helps with the number of force points and how hard the powers are to resist. And the bonuses that they get. Like heal is based off of uh, a number plus your level, plus your wisdom, plus your plus your charisma. I think I'm going to Yeah. Yeah, the immunities are nice, but I haven't really seen much that would help with that. And real quick, before we go any further, um, yeah, All right, what are you, what are you blinking about? Okay, uh, before we go any further, let me level up my crew, because that seems like a good, you know, assaulting a Sith temple filled with apparently Jedi apprentices, um, that, that might require a little bit of leveling up, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. She gets the one skill point, which goes into treat injury. Because i that's the only thing we're going to get any value out of her with. Ooh, feats. This was going to be one of the tough ones. Yeah, because she's already up to weapon spec lightsaber. I might do weapon specialization melee, just because I know coming up on Dantooine, you get all sorts of problems running around with a lightsaber, so I might just give her a double-bladed sword and, and use that. But we'll get to that more when we get there. It's not worth it for the Jedi defense. She's she's so not dueling. Dual-wielding, but not dueling. Uh, close combat? She's not shooting anything. Who are we kidding? That's why she doesn't have any of the, uh, any of the shooting feats except for the ones that she came with. I'm not giving her any bonus skills. Dual strikes always an option. Finesse. Uh, honestly, before I give her anything else, I'm probably going to either give... I, I'm probably going to give her regenerate vitality points. Because she is one of my bruisers. She's going to be up front and in people's face. And having a faster healing rate is always better. And for that matter, what power is... Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let, let's spend the next couple of hours getting her battle meditation. As much as I'd like to do the stun, honestly, other than the stun droid, I'd much rather use the force wave. Alright, let's accept that, and let's go to you, and let's level you up, Mr. Tech Specialist. Skills, all of them, please. Uh, I gotta double check what the cap is on the crafting for some of these skills because I think a few of these were reaching as high as you can go uh, or as high as you need for the DC to craft things. Like, I'm pretty sure his computer use is high enough that he can craft anything that's based off of computer use. Same for repair. Uh, not, not so much for treat injury. And definitely not for stealth, but 
I, I'm reaching the point where if I can back off some of these skills to uh, double down on stealth and get him to where all his skills are at at a place where he can craft everything uh, then I will start uh, training him on the Jedi side I just want to make sure his skills are at the place where he can he can do anything I need him to alright and feats a left and a right I really you have no idea how much I wish he had heavy arm proficiency yeah uh, let's go ahead, since he is my skills guy, Master Gearhead's always an option. He is a duelist, so Weapons Focus Blaster Pistol would also be good. And so would Close Combat, because I, I keep waffling between making him melee and ranged, and I really like to give him the option to continue uh, switching between the two. So I think... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the close, the two close combat feats and then start moving into the focus and specialization type stuff. Matter of fact, i, I got to double check and see if there's some headgear that I have that can grant him the weapons focus and weapons proficiency because I, I want to say that there was something that could. It might be one of those skills package things that I can install. And let's do the same thing for Mira. Let's level her up. Uh, oh, that's right. She does have skills. Then we'll go to treat injury and demolitions and repair. And we'll bump we'll bump up stealth. I w I, w I was going to keep uh, computer use up, but now I think I need to increase her stealth a little bit more. I'm running into more cases where that would be useful. All right. Hey, she got a new lightsaber form. Nice. Uh, I wish I I wish I'd realized remembered that she had uh, armor. I think I was going to give her the light armor that doesn't hinder your uh, skills at some point, and just forgot about it. So, in the meantime, let me go ahead and get her master energy resistance because that will that will be useful. Or do I want to start getting her the speed? Now, we'll, we'll consider speed next. Let's do the Master Energy Resistance now. And there we go. Uh, that reminds me. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, that does bump up the stealth. Alright. Yeah, somebody, unless I broke it down for parts, there there is some headgear or something that gives you the bonus feats. It might be an implant that I need to craft later, assuming I remember. Well, let's go ahead and save the game. And if you're watching on the live stream, we're going to take another break. If you're watching on YouTube, well, you know what time it is. Well... That was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition so if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee then uh consider going giving a little bit 
especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.